Hello traders, Andy Demi here from the London Trading Institute. I do hope you are having a great day and um, you're all trading well and feeling good and enjoying the cloudy weather. Although actually, to be fair, it's been quite a good day. It's just a bit cloudy right now in London, but it's been a nice day. And um, yes, I am trading this morning. I'm trading effects. Um, I'm also trading cryptos um, for swing trade and um, hope, hoping to catch um, some nice moves up and then another move down, hopefully in Bitcoin. Anyway, what am I talking about today? Well, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, being transparent about where I've come from and the kind of mistakes that I've made in my trading career um, and in my life um, before, you know, getting to some kind of level of success. And if I'm honest, there's probably not many mistakes that you can think of that I haven't done. And it may be a little bit surprising to people, um, you know, because you know, for those that are students of mine and they, or people that have been following me for a little while, you know, um, you know, how strongly I feel about uh, risk management and about discipline and about discipline, not just in trading, but also in our personal lives, because we obviously bring our personal lives in to our trading. You know, it's something I speak about a lot. And, you know, and, and the, the reality is, guys, is that you don't necessarily have to go through that path of making these mistakes. But what I really want to share with you today is, is to share with you not just the mistakes because, you know, I want to confess to them, but because I want them to make a difference to you. And I want you to understand that there are no shortcuts. You know, um, there are no shortcuts to success. You know, it really does come down to real simple mathematics. You've got to put the hours in, you've got to learn the rules, and then you've got to apply them. It's really that simple, and it's very, very mechanical. And if you do that, you're going to succeed at the highest level possible. And most of you, in fact, I would probably say anybody can do it, okay? It's just whether you're willing to pay the price. So what mistakes have I made? Well, I can tell you that I have somebody who has blown up multiple trading accounts. In fact, I blew up a six figure account once. Okay, a six figure. I'm not even going to tell you how much exactly, but a six figure. So, you know, you can kind of, you know, it's going to be at least 100 grand, right? So, you know, it's a lot of money. And I did that because I was absolutely naive and stupid, if I'm being honest. Um, you know, I, I kind of had this belief that I was invincible, that I could make millions and and, and, I, and I could just do it without even really trying, you know, and it was wrong. Um, I thought I could control the markets, but we never control the markets, guys. The markets are always in control. And our job is to listen. You know, a good trader is a good listener and they see what's going on and they don't just kind of put their own agenda on. OK, you don't want to just be putting your agenda on. Um, and the other things I used to do would be like, you know, not wanting to be wrong. So what do you do when you don't want to be wrong? Well, you know, we move our stops. Um, we we buy some more or sell some more, convincing ourselves that we're averaging in. And, um, and then it becomes a disaster, right? And that's how you kind of blow up an account. Now, if you follow simple risk and money management like I do now, there's absolutely no way you can blow up an account, you know, because you'd have to be absolutely the most horrible and luckiest trader in the world that's ever lived to be able to, you know, if you're doing 1% risk per trade, to be able to do 100 trades wrong in a row, wow. I mean, that takes some doing, right? So, you know, and, and, and all sorts of other things, you know, just over leveraging, um, you know, trading without enough capital, you know, trying to make it a lot from a little. Um, and, 
yeah and 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 then not following my plan not following a strategy not following rules you name it i've done it now why am i telling you this is it something i want to get off my chest not really it makes me vulnerable in many ways um, it makes me human but you know and, and some people will judge me for that some people will say you know well who are you to mentor then well yeah i get that but the reality is is that if i didn't experience those things i wouldn't be able to relate to people that actually do those things now we have got with there's people out there um my colleague alberto is probably one of them who are very very mechanical you know unemotional very calculated you know super good so just naturally gifted at trading right I had a lot of natural gifts at trading, like I could really read the markets, my intuition, and I'm, I'm an extrovert. But I didn't have the other things, which was like the discipline side. And it took pain to get me to a point where I was like, enough is enough. Now, how much pain do you need to go through before you realize, hold on a minute, you know, something's got to change here. Now, if you're somebody who is has been trading, um, almost given up, and you're listening to me now, well, you're listening to me for a reason. You're here for a reason. Like, you're meant to be here to listen to this. You know, think about why you started to trade in the first place. And if you've decided to quit or, you know, you're not following through with what you set out to do, I ask you to go back to those reasons why you started it in the first place, because I can tell you something. It took a lot out of me. It took so much pain out of me. But I look, I sit now and I look at what I've achieved in the markets, not just in the markets, but the 360 on my personality, the way I'm able to control my emotions, the way I'm able to control risk the way I'm able to be absolutely comfortable with taking trades and being wrong. You don't know how much of an impact that has, not just in your trading and therefore your wealth building, but also in your own life. And so the way I always look at trading now for you is it's a transformational journey. You know, it's about tackling those demons and overcoming those the, the, those those emotional barriers that are stopping you from living your greatest life. And so, you know, I wanted to share this message with you guys. And, you know, and, you know, whatever you feel about it is absolutely fine. But for me, you know, keeping it with me is selfish, like sharing it, hopefully somebody's going to resonate, I think, wow, okay, I if if he was in that position, then maybe I can also do it as well. And that's my hope, you know, to give you that extra push, keep pushing guys, keep going keep pushing keep going it's gonna click no matter how bad it gets if you keep going you're gonna get there and when you do i promise you the other side is absolutely worth it it's absolutely worth it because of the transformation not just not the money really isn't that it's amazing to think that the money actually isn't going to be the most exciting thing for you it's who you become in that journey that actually you realize that's what the real wealth is and of course the money does help you know it buys nice things but i promise you that the transformation to enjoy that money is probably even more important and more rewarding okay guys i hope that's not too heavy for you guys um i hope that helps um if if you're still here hopefully you know that's helped you out and um, please don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to our channel. And, um, you know, check us out on Facebook, Crypto and FX Traders Club. I will put the link in the description and the comments. And I will wish you a great day, good trading, good investing, and most importantly, good health. And I'll catch you again soon with another. Oh, one last thing. May Liverpool beat Leeds United tonight and close the gap on Manchester City. That would make me extremely happy. For those that don't follow football, well, you don't know what you're missing out on. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.